Welcome back to SnowRunner, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are back with some modded gameplay. Now, we have got some weird, wacky and wonderful things, as you've probably already seen in the thumbnail. So, let's go to the truck store, and we're going to start off with this. Look at it! It looks so short and snubby and cute. This is the ANK baggage tractor. Now, this is designed for airport use. Not supposed to be off-road. Not supposed to be anywhere near off-road. But we're going to chuck it off-road and see how badly it can do. So, already, it's got a border stroke 4-litre Ace engine with an S plus power rating that you can chuck in. That is awesome. Uh, let's chuck in the advanced special suspension. Well, you only get that. Tires, they're very tiny, 20 inch. But oh, look at that, they're so cute. Uh, let's go for the little caterpillar tires. They actually suit the little aesthetic of this thing. Scout, let's do autonomous. Spare wheel, that's a place to put it. Fog lights, now. Let's see. Ooh, oh, look at it. Look at them. It, it, it's tiny. It, it, they're tiny, but they're brilliant. Uh, rims, we have... Oh, we actually have quite a lot, a lot of rims. So we've got the uh, tartan rims where you can see through them. Got Yar rims, OS rims, and A&K rims. I'm going to stick the A&K rims on. Uh, what colour can we make this? Uh, oh, there's actually quite a bit of a checkerboard pattern that I've just noticed on the darker colours. Let's have a little JCB yellow. So, straight away, different looks already on. Oh my good god, it's slow. Oh my good god, it's slow. Might as well try the horn. Hey, it has a horn! So let's see, what trailers can it pull? Oh, it can pull the big boy trailers. Well, if you want to play with the big boys, I am going to give you it. Let's go with a ramp flatbed and chuck some heavy things on you. Turn, turn. The trailer is influencing the turning more than the wheels. Right, you want heavy? I'll give you heavy. Where's the concrete? Here we go, concrete blocks. Duh, 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 duh. Now let's see how you do. Oh, it actually is pulling. And there's a very tiny, very poorly rendered steering wheel. It's really trying. It, it really is trying. It's actually getting great traction. How is this happening? Okay, so if you want to do your SnowRunner experience in... A vehicle with no water clearance and has the top speed of two. The baggage handler is actually good. Now I'm going to park this thing here so that I don't have to spend all, like, and bore all of you with it. On to the next one. Now the next one has one of the coolest looking attachments I've ever seen. This is the 10 T21. So let's build this bad boy up. We're going to have maximum rotten engine. Let's have a highway box. So let's speed this big boy up. Tyres. This is where things get interesting. We have got a Grinder XL tyre. We've got currently the Jotunheim and uh, tyres. Uh, uh, engine. Oh my god, I'm already messing up. I'm going to go with them. The Wastelander tyres. They sound awesome. Uh, let's go for high power because speed and power solves everything. Uh, this has a massive crane but this is not the crane we came here for oh no because as you can see it has its own little you know there we go i went right past it the jotun 5 heavy recovery crane now this thing in no other ways about of saying it is impressive and so well made as a mod it's unbelievable so let's put some beacons on can't do that and now color 
Let's have some dark, dirty green. That looks incredible. Now, diff locks are disabled apart from the lower gears, which sucks a little. But you'll see that this thing really comes into its own with just the crane. So let's see what trailers you can have the smattering of trailers as usual. But I'm going to spawn in... I'm going to spawn in the fuel carrier because I want to see how much this thing can take. So, detach this cretin from our body and then we're going to crane mode. Now, this is where things get so cool because Infernus has wanted a video with a crane for a while. So I'm going to give it to him. The wonderful ginger man baby that he is. Look at those struts. They're so cool. Now that that is fully loaded, you can see... Just to the extent of how powerful this thing is going to be. There we go. Yoink. So, whilst that is there, let's uh, boom up. And take this fuel trailer with us. Oh yes, you're seeing that right. That is a fuel trailer off the ground. This is why I love this thing. It is one of the strongest crane mods without a crane mod, I might ask, that I've ever seen in my life. It is incredible and amazing. And it has some of the coolest struts I've ever seen. I mean, look at it. The, the fuel trailer doesn't know what to do. That is just your strength right there that's incredible so i'm gonna leave that big boy there there's nothing else that much interesting about it, it it's okay off-road it's quite a vanilla experience but again this is the weird and wonderful you've come to see the weird and wonderful so let's do three out of three this is the shark i, I don't know how else to put this but this is a thunderbirds extra so, let's put the advanced engine, the most powerful, uh, high range because we want to go fast. Uh, let's put active suspension in so that we can raise the big boy up. Tires, uh, let's relieve it on these cool looking shark tires. More power! Uh, power of dozen Krogans will not help you better than this winch. Okay. Uh, put on screen what a Krogan is. Uh, roof rack. We have got a little cool roof rack. And it's not a generic one. It's a custom made one. Very nice. And we have a crane. How cool is that? Oh, you can replace both of them with a gun. That is... We're going to come back to that. Rims. You just have the sharp rims. And you have a smattering of sci-fi colours. Well, it is a shark. You gotta go blue. So, diff lock always on as we like. Look, look at that beast just holding that. That. Never mind. Can, what can we add? Uh, we've got the smattering of trailers. Like, okay, this is classed as a scout. So let's go and our uh, shark. I wonder what the interior is like. Oh my, this is pure sci-fi. Oh, this is dope. That's a horn. Now, I am going to be doing the full off-road test, so through the water. Come on, shark. Live up to your name. Okay, it said dangerous water level. That indicates immediately to me that it cannot float. Uh... Let's change the suspension mode. That did absolutely nothing. So, you're a scout. Come on, let's see you climb. Oh, it struggles because of its width. But once it gets a little bit of a grip on something, because this thing is freaking enormous, it actually does quite well, although the turning is... Poor. You really do have the turning of a shark. Now, if you've seen 
shots. They can't really do a three-point turn very well. Right, Sonic, let's yeet it. Ah, oh, so close. Nailed it. So let's kick it into gear. It's taking quite a bit of damage, which is not good, but it's sustaining itself quite well so far. Not the best scout I've seen by far. There is a uh, many, many more scouts that are more better than this. But can you look sci-fi while doing the other ones? I think not. Now it went through number one with no issue. It's, it's going through number two with minimal effort actually. I'm quite impressed. So Let's go over to the dip test. This is where I'm expecting those gigantic tires to actually do something. We'd nearly roll the damn thing trying to turn. So let's go dip, dip, oh. It, it's actually so long that it refuses to get high centered. That is a plus. The only downside is this is the most powerful engine and it is slow as balls. Right, so you know what's going to come next. You know what's coming next. And, well, I'm very happy. Ugh! And I'm very happy it's coming next. We're going to do the jump. Because we have to do the jump. You know, the poor little baggage thing will struggle. The crane was only interesting for the crane. This, though. We're, we're going to full-on sci-fi the shit out of it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Get off the... Get off the goddamn hill! Right, here we go. Yee. Let gravity do it. It landed quite well. And look at that. It's a little shark. Fish our friends. Not food. But apart from that, it just... It looks dope. Let, let's not get anything wrong about that. It looks dope. However, the looks do not pertain to its actual performance, and that is quite upsetting. Now, I'm going to try lifting this little... You know, this is a scout, and it's bigger than... Stop it! Right. So, let's see if it can lift the ass off. Let's go into crane mode now. Hopefully those little side things will destroy that. Oh, they do! That is dope! Okay, instant style points. Now, let's see if it can lift it. Actually, it lifts it with relative ease. So if you want an intergalactic rescue vehicle, look no further than the shark. But before we do go any... Get off my foot. Get off my foot. Get off my foot. Get off my foot. Right, fuck you then. I want to see what that... God damn it! As I was saying before, I want to see what that gun does. I just want to see if it has a sound effect or anything like that. Anything? Nothing. Well, you're a massive disappointment, aren't you, bud? I would have to say the coolest one out of today is the bloody huge Russian crane because it's so well done as a mod. And it's tall as shit. I mean, look at that. That's ridiculous. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed three wacky, wonderful and unique mods in Snow Runner that you might actually overlook. So, uh, thank you all so very much for watching. I have been your wonderful host, Mr. Gage. And I will see you in the next video, whatever it may well be. Like, subscribe and have a good day. Bye-bye.